Hello, good day. My name is Byron Jeb Sangilias from BECE4C. And here to discuss another sample problem that was reported by the group 3 for their fulfillment and the COMPRE 2. So here is the sample problem. A W360 by 134 is simply supported on a span of 10 meter is laterally supported only at its end. Use FY is equals to 345 MPA. So number 1, determine the allowable moment of the beam for ASD. So number 2, this determine the design strength of the beam for LRFT. And number 3, determine the uniform service live load it can carry if it carries a uniform dead load, including its weight of 26 kN per meter. So the properties of W30 by 134, A is equals to 17,100 mm squared, D is equals to 356 mm BF is equals to 368mm, TF is equals to 18mm, TW is equals to 11.2mm, CW is equals to 4.3E raised to 12, CB is equals to 1.14, IX is equals to 416E raised to 6, SX is equals to 2340E raised to 6, RX is equals to 156mm, IY is equals to 151 e raised to 6, SY is equals to 818 e raised to 6, LP is equals to 4.63, RY is equals to 94 mm, J is equals to 1.69 e raised to 6, ZX is equals to 2572.77 e raised to 3, RTS is equals to 104.39 mm. HO is equals to 337.82 mm and LR is equals to 13 mm. So, katulad lang sa ating unang sample problem, ang una nating titignan is i-check natin yung compactness. So, first is for the plunge. So, meron tayong BF is equals to 2TF. So, direct substitution lang din siya. So, BF 368 over 2 times 18, meron tayong makukuha na 10.22 na width to thickness ratio for plunge. So, mula ulit sa NSCP, meron tayong gagamitin na lambda P is equals to 0 0.38 multiplied by square root of E over FY. So, direct substitution lang ulit. over 345 equals to 9.149. So, kung makikita natin dito, mas malaki yung ating width to thickness ratio kesa dun sa limit natin na lambda P. So, kukunin natin ngayon yung lambda R. So, meron tayo naman dito na 1.0 multiplied by square root of E over FY. So, meron tayo makukuha na value na 24.077. So, may kita natin na lambda P is less than lambda and less than or equal to lambda R. So, kapag ka ganito, consider natin yung flange natin na non-compact. So, from non-compact, so since non-compact siya, yung value ng MN natin is equals to MP minus parenthesis MP minus 0 0.7 ng FY SX over lambda minus lambda P minus lambda R minus lambda P. Ngayon, isolve natin yung value ng MP. So, MP is equal to FY ZX. So, equal siya sa 345 multiplied by 2572.77 times 10 raised to 3. So, may makukuha tayo na value ng MP na 888.64 times 10 raised to 6 newton per meter or 888.64 kilonewton meter. So, ito ay newton per millimeter pala. So, ngayon naman, kunin natin yung value ng 
uh, nominal moment. So, MN is equals to direct substitution lang, 888.64 times 10 raised to 6 minus 888.64 times 10 raised to 6 minus 0 0.7 times 345 times 2340 times 10 raised to 3. Then, multiply natin sa 10.22 minus 9.15 over 24.08 minus 9.15. So, ngayon, may makukuha tayo ng value ng nominal moment na 865.45 kilonewton meter. So, ano naman yung next step natin? So, i-check naman natin kung magbabakel ba siya. So, from the given, meron tayo ng value ng LB na 10 meter, meron tayong value ng LP na 4.63, and meron tayong value ng LR na 13 meter. So, makikita natin na LP is less than LB and less than or equal to L. R. So, dahil dyan, meron tayong formula na gagamitin na MN is equals to CV multiply by MP minus MP minus 0 0.7 FY SX LB minus LP LR minus LP equals. So, dapat ito magiging uh, less than or equal siya sa MP. So, direct substitution lang ulit. So, dito may makukuha tayong value na MN na 776.42 times 10 raised to 6 newton per millimeter or 776.42 kilonewton meter. So, ngayon, kung mapapansin natin, mas maliit siya kaysa sa MP, so okay. So, ang gagamitin natin ay ito na 776.42. So, ngayon naman, Isasolve natin yung uh, ultimate capacity using the factor of safety by LRFD and ASD. So, una is yung para sa ASD. So, meron tayong factor of safety dito na 1.67. So, MA is equals to MN over factor of safety direct substitution equals siya sa 464.92 kilonewton meter. So, next naman is for LRFD. Meron naman siyang factor of safety na 0 0.9. So, MU natin is equals to M, uh, factor of safety multiplied by MN equal siya sa 0 0.90 multiplied by 776.42. So, may makukuha tayong value na 698.78 kilonewton meter. So, ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, dalawa yung nakuha nating ultimate capacity. So, alin ba yung gagamitin natin dito para ma-identify natin yung live load? So, gagamitin natin dito yung pinakamalaki. So, kung, bakit yung pinakamalaki? Kasi kung iisipin nyo, kung yung pinakamaliit yung gagamitin natin and since merong uh, minimum, cap uh, merong capacity na 698 dapat and kung maliit naman yung gagamitin mo, so more likely, pwede siyang mag-fail. So, ngayon, um, meron tayong formula na MU is equals to, yun nga, factor of safety MN, equal siya sa 698.78, equal siya sa WU L squared over 8. So, yung span natin is 10. 10 squared 
over 8. So, may makukuha tayo na value na WU na 55.90 kN per meter. So, from N from N NSCP, so, 2015 po ito, kaya, mer kaya ang ang gagamitin natin is WU is equals to 1.2 ng dead load plus 1.6 ng live load. So, direct substitution. So, sabi dito, meron tayong 26 kN uh, per meter na dead load plus 1.6 ng live load. So, may makukuha tayo na value ng live load na 15.44 kN per meter. So, yun lamang po and thank you sa pakikinig.